Hey, how you doing? This is George. Okay, uh, this is a bit different angle than I'm normally uh, doing when I do my videos, but I thought this would be the best way to get the best lighting from my end. And I get a little bit more um, movement in that regard. Anyhow, um, as some of you may know, I have been to the Stranger Things experience in downtown Toronto. Okay, I'm only going to say one thing. The location is absolutely terrible. Location-wise, that is. But um, when you physically go in the building, from the moment you walk into the building to the moment you walk, sorry, walk into the building to walk out of the building, that's when things are a lot different, if you know what I mean. But anyhow, um, I got the VIP experience, so you get this little thing here, which basically says you're a big shot. However, there are two things attached here, which is the VIP gift and also the VIP drink. Now, the VIP drink could be practically anything you want because they treat you well as a VIP. However, just to let you know, This is what I got from the VIP experience. Which pretty much sums everything up of what I've endured and my love for the series. And I haven't even finished the fourth, uh, uh, the fourth um, season of it yet. And on top of all that, you also get a color wristband. In my case, I got this uh, blue one, this blue, um, this blue wristband. Let me explain why. When you walk into the building, they're going to give you two things. The first thing they're going to give you is a wristband the moment you walk through the door, because they want to separate the groups of people that walk into the building and separate them into three different groups. There's blue, there's yellow, and I green if I'm not mistaken. So what's gonna happen is while you're waiting, you're gonna have some actor dressed as a, as a doctor who's asking you questions that it's never the same one. In my case, he asked me, are you gardening? I said, yes, but in reality, I can't do jack shit. Anyhow, I'll get it back to this. We, I basically bullshitted against him and you know, just to occupy the guy because that's his job. So after everyone's asked questions, you have a group of people. You get three groups of people walking in through the door. And then you're going to be briefed by another guy dressed to the nines who will tell you exactly what you're going to endure. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what am I getting myself into? It's just a fun experience. So this dude is telling you what you need to know. There's going to be some flashing lights. There's going to be some things which will immerse you into the whole concept of Stranger Things that we have seen from the past four seasons. Anyhow, after his speech, the team that is closer to the door will be the first ones to leave. And then you go into the testing area, which is basically three tables, one on each side of the room. And you are basically told uh, there is a wooden contraption in front of you. You're, you have 60 seconds or 30 seconds to assemble this thing. Guess what? Nobody can do it. Not even on my group, not even on the other groups there. Nobody can get it perfectly in 30 seconds. I'm telling you now, Depending on what group you're in, it is pretty sick. Anyhow, other than that, you go to another room. See where I'm getting with this? The next room is basically where you're going to be sitting down and you're going to be having a weird noise, which is basically the group of kids from the first three seasons 
and flashlights. Not the physical people, you're going to hear the voices and you're going to see the light. And then they're going to ask you to use the powers that you used in the previous room. Oh, shit, I forgot to mention that. Um, basically, if you're in the blue, the blue room like me, this is your power, you do this. If you're in another group, that's your, um, that's how you summon the power. And for the third group, you just do this. You're probably saying to yourself, what the hell is this? Is this the experience or telekinesis session? What's the story? What you're doing is you're acting like you're a test subject. And they ask you to see what powers you have. And the special effects are really good. Everything from a can being crushed, moving around on the desk, uh, spiders coming out from the speakers or whatever. Not real ones, by the way. And it's just something that you won't soon forget. And trust me, it is worth your money that you plunker down to get into this thing. But anyhow, getting back to this scenario I just painted. Now, after you're in the room seated, you'll be asked to go to another room. This room will actually take you to a mock area where all this shit occurs when the Hawkins lab goes absolutely kaput. For instance, you're going to be seeing a demo, dragon, demagogue, and whatever you call it, you're going to have this happen, you're going to have that happen. It's very overwhelming, flashing lights, different colors. It feels real, but it's not. However, one thing I should tell you, if you are epileptic or you don't like the bright lights, don't go. I'm telling you now, the staff is well-trained in case anything happens to you, like you fall dizzy, you have a headache, or anything happens. The staff is well-trained according to them, and I believe it. Anyhow, so after you endure whatever amount of minutes, the whole thing is 40 minutes, by the way. After you've endured that experience, which, by the way, is the second best experience, the first experience I'm going to talk about in a few seconds. Anyhow, you get to see the four kids, the black, the black dude, the guy with the lisp, the girl, and another guy. I got their names. I apologize. I'm vague on, in terms of what's going on. But other than that, you get the picture. So after this, you're going to see a bright light opening up a door, which I swear looks like the interior of a woman's female reproductive system without actually saying what it is. You get the picture, right? Ah, you got the joke. You go through this thing, you're sign whining in it. I'm saying, holy shit, this is beautiful. And you go into this really big, massive room, which is probably three times the size of my basement. That's how big this bloody thing is. And you're wearing the 3D glasses for you to experience the whole thing. Best experience ever. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Damn. Bright lights. 3D, they're jumping at you. Best thing ever. I have never experienced anything like that, ever. Would I go again? You better believe it. Other than that, once the experience is over with the 3D, you dump your glasses in this big bin, and then you get to experience everything that you see that the YouTubers have actually posted on their channel. Everything from the Upside Down Bar, the Arcade, uh, Scoops Ahoy. Um, there's also a merch area. There's also a place the VIPs can pick up the stuff I just showed you several minutes ago. Other than that, this is the best thing I have ever, ever done to date. I guess you can say it's my early birthday gift. I've always loved Stranger Things. I've always wanted to get immersed into it. Dream come true. Now... Before I say anything more, there is another thing you should know. The tickets to go in are absolutely expensive. Now, if these turn you, if these prices turn you off, 
All I can say is save up. And keep in mind, this place is going to be around until June 10th. I actually looked it up on their website prior to anything else. Prior to me doing this video, that is. But anyhow, here's the thing. Um, kids are about 50 bucks. Adults are about 70. The VIP, which I did use, was 116 bucks. Was it worth it? You better believe it. So if you ever want to have a really good experience, get any package you can think of and immerse yourselves into it. Believe me, it is a feast for the senses. The food's not so bad. And if you love the series, this is for you. If you're not into it and you want a different experience, hey, it is what it is. So that's my review on the whole Stranger Things experience in downtown Toronto. May I warn you, public transit takes forever to get there. Take an Uber from where you live all the way down there. If you do on the weekend, the prices are expensive for Ubers. But other than that, it is absolutely positively worth your time being in the Strangers, strange, excuse me, Stranger Things experience. Absolutely worth it. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this. You liked it thumbs up if you are not a subscriber please subscribe i'll be releasing some videos in the near future take care